Now we're going to sculpt the mask for Marvin. To protect the clay, I've covered him with a plastic bag. I don't do this every time, but if I have a character that I really like that I want to really protect, I do that. I've already started some shapes here, but let's start from the top. We're going to make a forehead. And we're going to roll a ball and flatten it into a rectangle and roll out a little indentation that will fit right above the eyes. And we're going to smooth the top out so it's not quite so thick. So there's a forehead. Now we're going to lay in a forward piece, a forehead piece, and I'm going to pinch this down so it's thin right where it meets the nose so it doesn't stick out too far. And we're going to make this square here because it goes just to the edge of the eyes. We'll lay this in place right there. Leg of the Y, and there's the other, I guess not legs, they're arms, arms of the Y. And then we'll sort of come around the side into this, in towards the lobe. That's just a very quick ear. It gives a feeling of an ear, an oversized ear, but it is an ear. And then I'll make one for the other side. And then we're ready to bake it. We're going to make another mask for Marvin, and this one we're going to blend and make more realistic. We have a little bit of a side face there. Now we're going to make him somewhat realistic, so let's talk a little bit about proportions. And these things are in all of my um, books that are for adults that I've written for Northlight Books. But we're going to mark the half line, which is approximately there. And if you really want to be realistic, you could measure these with a little ruler. So let me get rid of some of this face. You want to see that it's even or symmetrical, if that's important to you. One thing you can do is tip it upside down and look at it from the upside down view, which is a good thing I did because I'm seeing some new things now. Another thing you can do is turn it so that it looks into a mirror so that both you and your character can see into the mirror at the same time. And you'll be able to see things that you can't see when you're looking at it the way you usually look at it. We're going to drop these in place. Now these are kind of oversized. The average face is five eyes across. And that would be your two eyes, one in the middle, and room from the edge of the eye up to the side of the head kind of right there in front of the ears. Okay, when I'm working on the eyes, I, if they're looking at me directly and I'm about two feet away, I make them just a little bit cross-eyed. Put his ears on. And it is a guy, isn't it? It's a little elf guy. Funny little thing. We're gonna give him a little bit of a funny expression there with his bottom lip. And add a little ball of like a little jewel, stick a little jewel right there. Just like that in the oven. Okay, once your little characters are out of the oven, you're going to pull out the foil, which I've already done, and you're going to paint them. These are painted, but let me show you how I did that. And then I've taken a toothpick and just dotted in a few little freckles here and there. Then if you take a wet finger, you can go like this, and it sort of diffuses those freckles a little bit. Mm -hmm.